I try to put the pressure on the music rather than myself. The first things we don't think about is breathing. And then you find yourself holding your breath and every, all your muscles get very tight. So physically, I think that's very important. But mentally, one thing that I found that helps me is I try to put the pressure on the music rather than myself. And over the years, I've found that the more I'm convinced about what the music should say, the less nervous I am. If you give a speech, if you're just reading something somebody wrote and you don't really believe the message, you can be very nervous talking to people. But if it's something you care about a lot, it's often very comfortable to tell people this. So I think those things can help a little bit. I was a soloist for a while and then I was in a quartet for a while. Now I'm in an orchestra. If you think of it as a form of chamber music, it just means you're always listening and watching what's happening and you're trying to be flexible and make music together. So it's a constant adjustment. And you know, playing a concerto, if you're playing something soft, you want it to have enough core and depth in the sound that you can carry. So finding that balance is the challenge between these things. But mentally, I think you should always be playing some kind of chamber music. I've always loved competitions and when I was little I didn't get very nervous because you don't really understand that there's pressure. You just do what you think is normal, right? The, and the older I got, like when I started doing international competitions, that's when I started getting nervous. Dealing with the pressure, when you go to a competition and your main goal is to motivate yourself to practice, to get better, as a musician, you have a slightly different mindset than if you go thinking, okay, I'm gonna win, I'm gonna play well, I want everyone to hear how great I am. So in a way, I never put that kind of pressure on myself. I just wanted to have a goal to practice for. And meeting violinists, or in some cases, other string players, you know, pianists from all over the world, it was such a great experience. Every competition I have ever done, I've really enjoyed the experience. Everyone has their own style. For example, if the first violin section and the violas have something together and it's not going well, and I might say something like, we're not together here, I think we're feeling this with more flow and you guys are feeling it more relaxed. Let's try to find the right character so that we can feel it together rather than saying you need to do this. And in my orchestra, everybody is a great musician. You have to give that respect to your colleagues. In rehearsals, how to say things or how you communicate with other sections, in my mind, I'm always playing chamber music.